And I look underneath and there's just a big shape circling to face me. And I'm just like, shark! And then they just body surf away with their <laughs> mouth open like, oh! <laughs> it's like the dragon in Game of Thrones, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> Surfing never ceases to produce some of the most amazing viral videos on the history of the planet. So today we're diving back in to more insane surfing videos that I've found while doing deep dives on YouTube. I'm Jack Tenney of the Jig Squad here to let you know that if you don't like this video, you have a small penis. So grow your pants, like and subscribe. You're welcome. You see, the thing about surfing is, is you never really know what's going to happen. You might get your leash broken by a shark. You might catch a wave with a shark. You might... Get hit by a fucking dolphin on the way out. Sea lions, hot lava, hitting the reef, getting dropped in on, stingrays, jellyfish, the list goes on. There's so much that can happen that can go wrong while surfing. And as if all of that wasn't enough, we now have two angry locals attacking two surfers. First off, we're going to throw it to New Zealand, where possibly the scariest thing I've ever seen happened to two pro surfers. The angriest locals I've ever seen attack these surfers. And not just any locals, 8,000 pound locals who weren't taking no shit. The thing about surfing is nobody wants to surf in a crowd. Unless you're me dressed up as a snake at Waikiki or Malibu. Nobody wants to surf in a crowd. So it pushes many surfers to go out into the unknown and to find new spots. The only problem with that is it's very dangerous to surf a new spot. The reef could be insanely sharp. There could be underwater caves, sea urchins, something I've personally experienced. There's just a lot that can go wrong. So I don't think anyone expected to be f***ing attacked by a sea lion while out for a surf with your buddy. Roll the clip. I'm sitting up for a wave. We we're like dropping. And just a huge black shape goes, boom, it hits my leg. Like, kind of like hard, like, boom. And I look underneath and there's just a big shape circling to face me. And I'm just like, shark! <laughs> and then they just body surf away with their <laughs> mouth open, like, oh! <laughs> it's like the dragon in Game of Thrones, bro. I swear to God. Both of them, one went for K, one went for me. And it came right up to me and I was going like, it was fully charging I had to go like this. That was the only way it would back up. Right. I literally went, we went all the way in like this. I know we thought we were chill on land. Turns out these could run like 50 miles an hour. And just kept charging us. Angiest locals ever. Pipeline's nothing. Chokey Peak. Surfers are just very able to jump off cliffs. Like if you surf, you're very familiar with hitting the water very hard. Sometimes you catch a wave and end up jumping from the top and diving awkwardly just so that you don't hit your board. Literally diving to save your own life. And it can f***ing hurt. Nothing is worse than ball clapping Smashville. Check out this clip of Brett Barley during the last swell in Hawaii almost getting absolutely smoked while surfing Pipeline. Now in this instance, nobody was at fault. Just like nobody was at fault during the sea lion encounter. But while surfing, you really have to be on your toes and expect the unexpected. You really never know what's gonna happen. And surfers are pushing the limits more and more every single day. If this is the kind of content you like, please drop a like or you have a small wiener. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. I would also like to urge you to subscribe because why not, you lazy f Now we have this video of a sea lion jumping on to a surfer's board. A little baby sea lion, super cute, right? The music, the smiles, the fact that it's just a baby, it's just absolutely adorable. Yeah, maybe if you don't know what you're looking at here, if I know one thing about sea lions, it's that they are shark and killer whale food. If a sea lion is jumping on your board, 
continuously. He's not doing it to be cute. He's running from a predator. This sea lion did not look stoked. It looked f***ing terrified. And like, he was doing absolutely everything in his power to stay on the board and out of the water. These guys are laughing, smiling, petting it. They think it's the cutest thing that they've ever seen. Little do they know, they are being stalked by a f***ing shark or a killer whale. No, no, that sea lion is scared as f***. And I'm sorry if I were them, I would have dipped the f*** out of there. I would just like to get something straight. I'm not afraid of sharks because sharks do not consider me their food source. However, that adorable little sea lion is my one-way ticket into being digested into shark shit. I don't care how adorable it is. In that situation, it's either him or me. And I will put that adorable little sea lion into a chokehold if he refuses to step up off my surfboard. I ain't dying for you. I ain't dying for nobody. My motto is try not to die, okay? Jukesquad.com. Buy my shirt. Make your pants grow. Get all the moms. Now, Hawaii, Hawaii, if we're going to talk about surfing, we got to talk about Hawaii. Hawaii faced some of the biggest waves they'd ever seen in over 10 years last year. It was an absolute shit show on the islands, and there's more insane footage that we could fit into 10 videos. So I got a clip for you guys. It shows a massive set on the outer reef of Pipeline, and there was a lot of jet skis on the inside because it seemed like the only way to catch these outer reef waves was with jet skis, so the jet skis were just all over the place. And when this massive set came through, everyone had to try to get to the outside. I don't know if my man was drunk or if he just whiskey throttled or what, but he sent a jet ski into the stratosphere. It actually caused him to break his back. Actually super unfortunate, but like, dude, this guy launched this f***ing jet ski higher into the air off a wave than I've ever seen in my entire life, so maybe we'll end it there. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy my commentaries, drop a like, subscribe, do yourself a favor, make your pants grow. If you need a shirt or some pit vipers, you know what to do. You know where to go. It's their vases. They are vases. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.